Hello everyone, so I thought I would do a short video on uh, calibrate, setting up and calibrating for towing a trailer with the new Defender. Um, this trailer here, a small, small lightweight trailer, in total I calculate with the bike on there, um, the trailer itself and all the tools and equipment, the bike was full of fuel and spare fuel with it. It's around about 450 kilos. We've just been on a trip to North Wales, Snowdonia for five days. And I hope you can see there that we have done 352 miles and towing the trailer, we've averaged 31.8 to the gallon. Uh, that's the three liter inline six diesel 2023 Defender 110. So I think that uh, MPG, this is England, UK, Imperial Gallon, uh, MPG is excellent. And that was, you know, there's no motorways there. That is all A and B roads, lots of C roads. We were up in the mountains um, at, a, at like a campsite type thing, uh, festival. And I was out on this bike for a, a, a few days. Um, riding the lanes while the Defender was parked up and we went out to various places as well. So when you, this, this vehicle is 2023, um, but as I understand it, for some years now, may even go back as far as 10 years with the Land Rover Group, you've been getting this sticker in the vehicle. Um, this is our second Defender. We had one in 2022 that had that sticker. And I asked the dealer, what's that all about? Because I didn't know. And they said, oh, that's for calibrating your trailer. And indeed this one, which we picked up in March, 2023, also had this sticker, which again, I just confirmed with the dealer, you know, because when, when they handed it over, they said, this is for calibrating the trailer. The first thing I did, therefore, is have a look at the manual, but there's nothing in the manual about it. I went on YouTube, watched a video, and sure enough, there's quite a few videos about how you have to set this up with the software and the preview pro etc and effectively you have a plate here on your horse box your trailer your caravan or whatever you're carrying but on this case i expected to have to put a, a plate here plate of plastic and set it up and align it stick this on there and then i would have moved the, the plate off to other trailers or other vehicles if i was towing different vehicles in the future um, so that's what I was expecting. This vehicle has got the advanced tow assist. So I'm assuming, and I don't really know to be honest, but I'm assuming you only get this sticker if you've got the advanced tow assist. Um, and the advanced tow assist basically enables you to be able to reverse this vehicle um, with some ease with the trailer, uh, whether it be a horse box, a caravan, or in this case, a small trailer. If you look at the um, uh, some of the videos online and you'll, you'll know what I mean um, there's a, a Land Rover one which is quite humorous uh, with that comedian um, so I first time I've had, I've had this for a month or so first time we came to do some towing I um, got this sticker out and wasted a lot of time <laughs> trying to follow what I understood the process to be from what I could see online but in the manual for this vehicle, that's the online sort of eye guide and one thing or another, there was nothing about this sticker, nothing whatsoever. And on the Privy Pro um, setup, there was nothing about it there either. Uh, and I, I thought, well, before I, you know, prove that I'm complete idiot and dull and missing the point, I would struggle with this and try and work it out for myself, but I didn't waste a lot of time. This is the benefit, I think, of the Facebook forum groups with, uh, you know, sort of like-minded owners of these vehicles. Because I put a question in the group, um, what is it about this sticker? Because I'm unable to do the calibration. Um, even I even actually went to the trouble of putting this so to see if that's what triggered the calibration. No, no, no. Anyway, some kind members of the Facebook Land Rover Defender forum came back and said, no, you don't need the sticker anymore. 
can you believe it? So they're actually supplying stickers, and this is the relevance of this video. If you've got, and I don't know when it changed, but if you've got a 2022, I believe 2022 onwards, Land Rover Defender, uh, even though this sticker is su still supplied by Land Rover and the dealers, and the dealers are still telling you you need it, you don't. In essence, and I won't bore you with it because it's really straightforward and it's best you sort of find out for yourself, but in essence, what you do, and the, I find the user eye guide isn't very helpful, frankly, but via the Preview Pro there, um, you put in the sort of dimensions of the trailer, um, you put in the number of axles and one thing or another, and then you drive it forward for a distance to calibrate it. You basically follow all the on-screen on uh, instructions. So the crucial thing is putting in the details and you can put on a number of different trailers. If you've got different trailers, you can set up a number of different trailers. Um, you put in all the details and you drive it forward to calibrate your trailer. Um, and then when it comes to the tricky part of reversing, um, you have to um, hand it over to the, uh, the vehicle and accept and acknowledge, make sure your brakes, foot's on the brake and it's in reverse and you have to sort of acknowledge you want it to take over and you use this central, you use this central dial here to reverse back, holding your foot on the brake to maintain and manage the speed slow, not the steering wheel. The moment you touch the steering wheel, take control and the switch system switches off and says, okay, you're the boss, you take over. Um, but you can do some pretty, and it's best to play with it and practice with it um, and get used to it because it is sort of strange, it is new, it's not what we're used to with reversing. Um, and it works. I mean, I think it's, it's brilliant. It's, it's obviously got its limitations, but it's got the same sort of limitations, I guess, as, as you as a skilled driver and, and, man, and reverser of trailers, you know. So, yeah. But the important, the reason I've done this video today is how stupid is that? So if you've got one of the later vehicles, you know, put that in the bin. It's a waste of time. And, and don't waste the hours I wasted trying to work out, work it out. Put your questions in the Facebook forums and some helpful members will tell you, you know, how, how the world really is. Uh, the eye guide I don't find helpful, intuitive, uh, that, that, you know, so there you are. Hope this is of help uh, to somebody. Thanks.